In this GarageBand Quick Jam video, we're going to be taking a look at the pitch mode here on the keyboard instrument in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. And in this 70th episode of GarageBand Quick Jams, we're going to be taking a look at the pitch mode here on the keyboard instrument in GarageBand. How do we use it? What can it be useful for? And how do we enable it here on our keyboard instruments? Let's dive in and take a look now. Now, right back in episode one, we talked about the keyboard touch instrument here in GarageBand. And to go to our keyboard, we just in a new track here, we tap on the keyboard and we're here in something like our piano which we can just play. And there's two different modes on our piano, a glissando, which lets us slide up and down the keyboard and a scroll, which means as we tap and scroll on the screen, it moves up and down the keys. Now these are the only two options in some of our more standard keyboards. But as soon as we start looking at our synth instrument, we have a third mode, which is pitch mode. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So to change our keyboard instrument on the iPhone, we tap in the top left here, and then we tap on the icon here on your iPad. It's gonna be an icon right in the middle of your screen. And now we can actually scroll down. Now, if you've got Alchemy Synth, you can use one of those, but I'm gonna use another synth instrument here so that anyone on any iPad or iPhone can follow along. So let's go to the synth leads and let's choose one of my favorite ones here, which is the modular lead. It sounds like this. A very cool sound with a bit of a delay on there as well. Now you can see here it's on glissando at the moment. So it's going to scroll up and down like that. We do also have the scroll mode like that, but we can now select pitch mode. And what pitch mode does is We can actually move between notes and it's going to change that pitch gradually and actually be like a slide. It's going to be a smooth. So if we tap, we can actually go up and down between two different notes. Now this is very cool for a lot of electronic music where you don't necessarily want to just play individual notes. You want to move between a couple of notes. So let's show you now how we can use the pitch mode in a practical application in a track here in GarageBand. So here's a track that I worked on in a recent video where I showed the difference between the live loops mode and the tracks mode. And you can check that video. It'll be linked at the top and at the end of the video as well. So at the moment, it sounds like this. And what I want to do is I want to add a bit of a synth lead in here. After this little swell that happens there, I want to add in a lead instrument. So that's what we're going to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this back up at the start of the track. I'm going to go back to my instrument here. I'm going to hit record and I'm going to record in a little bit of a lead part at that point. Let's hit record now. All right, so our part's recorded. Let's go back to our track view and take a look at this. Now, okay, it's done something here, which is a bit interesting, and this is good. This is an additional tip here. If you ever get this problem where you've recorded and it's not showing it, all you need to do is actually tap on this and just give it a little bit more lead in. So the problem here is that I hit that first note just a little bit before the actual bar marker. So it didn't register that first note hit. And with a, a pitch shift like this, it is only actually one note. So if we tap on this and we go into edit, you can see here that it is only that one note all the way through. So if we tap on it, it's gonna look like it's actually just one note in there, but because it actually records in all the different pitch shifts, it's actually going to play it back. So when we play this back, we'll just bring it out here and turn it down a little bit. We'll play this back in the mix now and take a listen. So it does mean that if we want to edit this, we can't actually edit any of those notes. So your performance when you're using pitch mode is important because you can't edit the notes after the fact. And keep in mind, yeah, if you don't have your your uh, your note display there, then just move it a little bit to the side. You can then come in here and edit it and you can actually move the start of that note if you want to get it right on there. You can use some editing to do that, but we won't worry about that for now. But there you go. This is a really cool way to use the pitch mode. And I'm sure you're already ahead of me. You can use this for bass instruments, lead instruments for pads you can do some pretty funky stuff in your electronic music just by using the very cool pitch mode here in GarageBand. 
And there you have it. Thanks, everyone, for supporting me through 70 episodes of GarageBand Quick Jams. If you want to go back and watch it all from the start, you can go right back to episode one, which is linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner and head over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.